Hello. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick update on how I'm getting on with the V4 project. So thus far I have made the patterns. Um, it wouldn't really make for an interesting video, me machining out all this foam, but the key things you need to know are this is extruded polystyrene so it's a higher density than your expanded beads you'll get in things like I don't know, look, your TV will come in a box protected by it so this is a bit thicker than that it's usually used in building um, I had to break it up into layers because the foam is only 50 millimeters thick so each layer um, was split up machined flipped machined on the other side and then glued together to make the final pattern so what I've done with the pattern is I've left um, extra material on all of these faces which will be machined flat local to me there's a foundry and I've talked to them about this I showed them my v twin engine and they were really receptive so they're gonna cast this for me as soon as I am ready they've said I can even pour it myself on their premises which is really cool so all this needs now is I'm going to buy some unscented candles yes and um, use the wax and just smooth out all of the um, joins so anything you see on here it's going to show up in the finished casting so with the machine these surfaces which will be machined flat I'm not so not so fussed but when it comes down to these strengthening ribs they're going to look horrible and also the joins down the um, every piece of foam so other than that um, put the wax on I've been talking to um, Kelly if you know anything about lost foam casting you'll know he is one of the gurus and I'm going to get his advice um, on running a gate for the casting seeing as the foundry doing this the reason they've agreed to it is because they have no experience lost foam casting so they want to learn something it's a good opportunity and it's a fairly you know high-end sort of a, a thing um, so yeah the plans to run two gates from top to bottom it's going to be um, placed in the sand probably something like this or maybe like this um, and it's going to be poured from the top with about 150 millimeters of sprue and then I'm going to have a large pouring basin probably about yeah 25 to 30 percent the volume of the part so once I start pouring um, I can keep up with the pour and so I get it right the first time so the time invested in this thing is about oh I'd say eight to nine hours just in machining the foam because I don't have a router um, the library's router wasn't available to me when I was free so most of this was done you know very late at night um, when everyone's in bed so yeah over the course of a week I machined probably one to two of these a night and then um, glued them all together and now I'm just waiting on free time I guess and um, adding the wax so the plan is to cast this piece and the cassette um, at the same time I'll pour the cassette first so if we run into any trouble um, I can apply anything I've learnt there seeing as that's the um, smaller of the two patterns and less complicated so what this is going to cost me um, you know sort of we haven't shook hands on it but it should be about ten dollars a kilogram for this so this will be about hundred and twenty dollars because they're helping me out and you know they like to be a part of things like this so but yeah this should cost about hundred twenty dollars to have cast it could be more 